Hi, I'm Big Mike Clemens. I play for Israel Newbury and I play Crush Drums. <laughs> I started drumming at the age of six years old um, from pots and pans in my mother's, you know, kitchen and my bedroom. You know, I would get on drums when I was like maybe after church or when the white was there and things like that until it was really time for me to step out and really, you know, become that, that drummer that I know I was. The moment um, when I thought I had a breakthrough um, playing drums was, I, I'll never forget, I was 13 years old. Uh, and was, I was playing in church. Um, it was a, a, actually it was after service, and I just was on the drums playing. People was around me, and I'm just fooling around playing. And it's like something just like hit me, and I just my foot got faster. Everything just got fast on me. And and ever since then, I think um, ever since then it was just uh, up and up. You know, like a roller coaster, just going up and up. I um, I never forget that moment. It's like a lightning hit me, and from then on, it was like I was a different drummer. Some of my influence with me starting out, Joe Smith, um, Dave Weckl, uh, Vinnie Carluta, um, Steve Gadd, uh, you know, people like that um, really inspired me um, to, to become who I am today as far as drums. Some of the hurdles that I had to overcome when I was younger was um, just the transition from playing in, in, in church all my life to the R&B world. Um, a lot of people didn't agree with it. So, you know, it was a lot of, you know, talk and things like that, you know, bad mouth to me. And, um, but, you know, those were some pretty um, devastating, you know, time in my life. But I actually got through it and, you know, and I'm here now. So. Some artists that I've played with, um, Mary J. Blige, um, Usher, um, Aaron Hall uh, from the Group Guy, and actually the actual Group Guy as well, um, SWV, um, Joe. I've been on um, the Israel Newbury gig for about nine years now. Um, started um, with the Africa record that we've done in South Africa. And from then on, you know, to this recent album, um, Jesus at the Center, I've been, I've been with them. It's been a really good run, really good experience. I got to see different parts of the world from a different angle. Um, you know, we go everywhere. We're, we're, we probably do a couple hundred gigs uh, a year. So, so it's, it's really been, it's been cool. You know, I really don't have no complaints. Um, so it's been a good run. Nah, but uh, I play Crush because um, the drums are great. The drums are made well. Um, they take their time. They actually, you know, are, are musicians. And that makes a difference in the company to me. You can't, you can't make drums and not, you know, at least play, you know, play the instrument. And I feel really honored um, to, um, you know, to be here this long. You know, um, Terry, Rick, and Mike, and the rest of the staff are really great people. You know, I know them. I know that how, what kind of people they are. And I just have a great relationship with them. So that was a no question. And I, like, I signed with Crush before I even heard my kit. So that says something. And when I heard it, I was definitely not disappointed. It was, it, it's, it was I still remember and I still love that kit and I still play that kit. Um, now I play the acrylic kit, uh, which is a great kit. Um, I love the way it sounds. It's, it, it does, it's the first acrylic I've ever played that doesn't sound like acrylic. You know, it sounds like it's wood. Um, and I think that is amazing. Hey, I'm Big Mike Clemens, and I'm proud to be a part of the Crush family. Peace.